let's meet Ronak, one of our top 20 finalists of Witblock's Young Inventor TechFest 2020. My name is Ronak Raj and I'm 12 years old. I'm currently studying in Bal Bharti Public School, Navi Mumbai, in class 7. In my leisure time, I like to play musical instruments like keyboard, do drawing and painting, read books, and also do programming and learn new things in the field of computers. Milk is widely consumed in almost all households across the globe. A standard practice, we tend to boil milk first and then consume it. We have all experienced it. We go to boil milk thinking that we will stay attentive. But either someone comes at the door or we get a call on our phone. Something happens, we get distracted and milk spills all over the platform, creating a mess. On an average, 2-3 to three liters of milk is wasted per month in every household, which is a loss of about 200 rupees per month, as well as there is an additional loss of about 50 rupees per month for extra fuel. Therefore, we lose about 3000 rupees per year. To solve this problem, I have thought of a unique idea which stops milk spillage while being environment friendly and which can be used with any utensil. My device will alert the user 30 seconds before the milk spills. Over so the user can come and turn the gas stove off. Now let me show you how my device works. Now as you can see, I've put some milk in the vessel for boiling and I've also dipped the temperature probe into the milk to detect the temperature. Now when I turn on the device and configure the settings, this device will alert me 30 seconds before the milk boils. So that if I am in some other room, I can come and turn off the stove and milk will not get spilled. So now I will power the device on. And here you can see my device has three buttons. This button is to dismiss uh, the alarm. This is to put the device into high flame. High flame is, so if you put your milk also in high flame, you have to use the high flame button. And if you put your milk in the low flame, you have to use the low flame button. And this is the alarm system which will alarm the user. On the display, you can see the current temperature of the milk which is 17.35 degrees Celsius. And it tells me to enter the flame type. So I'll go ahead and enter high flame as I'll be using this for this demonstration. As I entered high flame here, I will set the milk also in high flame. Now I have set it in high flame. Now this processor of the Arduino will continuously compare the temperature and when it will reach 95 degrees, it will set off the alarm system and give me 30 seconds until I come and turn off the stove. So as you just heard, the device will alert me 20 to 30 seconds before the milk spills over. So say I am in some other room, I will just come and dismiss the alarm and I will just turn off the stove. So this device makes it possible to me being anywhere in the house, when I will just hear the alarm from this device, I will just come, dismiss the alarm and dismiss and turn off the Stove. To, to develop this device, I first connected a circuit and checked every part to recognize any errors and then I started coding in a web service called Tinkercad. When that was done, I built my own circuit using an Arduino Uno and then I started coding in the Arduino IDE. Once the program and circuit were tested ok, I started conducting my experiments at my kitchen or various flame types like high, low and medium. 
In my test, I recorded a time and temperature hours from the Adreno software through the serial monitor. And then I used it to get tests for high and low flame. All of the data was then put into Excel where I used it to calculate the temperature 30 seconds prior to the milk spilling over. The graphs of all my tests can be seen here. As seen here, the temperature of 95 degrees gave the user about 30 seconds before the milk spilled over in high flame and 98 degrees for low flame. The time can also be controlled, so if I wanted to get alerted, say suppose one minute earlier, I can do that by changing a few variables in the software. The making cost of my device is 880 rupees, of which the main components are the Adreno Uno R3 of 450 rupees, the temperature probe for 120 rupees, the LCD display also for 120 rupees. There is a scope to reduce the device cost to around 600 rupees with the use of an Adreno Nano and further reduce the cost by using a customized processor and producing it in mass scale. There is an op option to go to non-contact IR temperature sensors but that will increase the cost dramatically. However, it will be hassle free for the customer to use. My project is also very environment friendly as it reduces the wastage of milk, less energy is wasted as milk does not have to overboil and fire is prevented as gas is not leaked. Let's open the floor for Q&A. Over to you, judges. A uh, great presentation, Donak, and very well thought project. Honestly, it was very hard for me to see milk spillover. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, what microcontroller were you using for this? Was it ESP? No, sir. It was Adreno Uno, which was at Mega three twenty eight microcontroller. Okay, and what sensor are you using? So it is DS18B20, which is a thermal probe. Uh, so can it survive on higher temperatures? Yes, sir. it is a temperature range from around minus 44 to 125. So it is within the safe limits of boiling temperature of milk. And do we have to like sanitize uh, the sensor before putting it in the milk? So uh, we have to clean the all the residue, but all the germs that uh, all the germs that about. 85 to 90 degrees uh, when heated up. So milk is already getting heated to 85 to 90. So there is no need of additional sanitizing. Okay. Thank you. And uh, for example, uh, there's different uh, density of milk you can find all over the country, all over the world. So uh, would you have to do it for each uh, and every milk type? Is it so? So, uh, I also tested for various types of milk, like one had a lot of water mixed into it and other was almost pure. And what I yeah. found that is, there was just a little bit of variations in the response time. Say, uh, if I tested it in pure milk, it would give you the user to third, it would alert the user 30 seconds before the milk spill. But if more water will be added, the response time will just get bigger and there will be no, uh, like, no, nothing wrong with the device. The response time will get bigger and the user will get more time to come and turn off the stove. Yeah, so uh, that's why you have that 30 second earlier alarm, yeah. right? But can I adjust the timing of it? Yes, or so, so I, I can show the graphs now. Uh, so here is uh, here is the graph. And, uh, and some of the tests, with the testing I did, I created a formula. Which was like if I get to if I want to get alerted say 30 seconds before, there's just a formula that is 6 by 59 into 30. And that the the result which it gave me was three almost three degrees. So that I subtracted from the final temperature. And instead of the number 30, I can use any other numbers versus one minute, I can use 60. And the uh, amount it will give me, I can just subtract it from the uh, final temperature. And then I can get alerted at any temperature that I want. Great project, Ronak. Uh, so are you planning to convert it into a product? 
Yes, sir. Like uh, I have a very good roadmap for this. So the first thing I will do is that I will increase the length of the temperature probe because uh, what I think is that pl- the plastic part should not be touching the milk because it can't be yeah. dangerous. So what I will do is if you are going to commercialize this, I will elongate the length of the thermal probe to about six inches, and it will be it will be made of food grade stainless steel, so nothing happens. And I will change the plastic with silicon so that even if it do, it does get dropped inside the milk, nothing, no harm will be happening to the milk. And then I will apply for a patent of my design so that it does not get copied. And then I will sell it through major online retailers like Amazon, Flipkart, and etc. Those. Yeah, and I I think you have already thought through a lot of these things. So great work, you know. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Ronak! Very well, thoroughly thought out project. Uh, but I wonder what the inspiration for this was. Is there a lot of milk spilling where you stay? <laughs> yes. So, so what used to happen is like every two to three times a week, milk used to get spilled by my mother, and then she used to spend a huge amount of time cleaning yeah. up. All and of there used to be there. milk wastage, and time would get wasted. So I thought of a way to solve this thing, and then because of this competition, I went into Arduino and started learning everything about programming, and I f- and I finally made a working model of my device. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very okay, well done. Very impressive. I I would suggest you you test out how many you think you can sell before you go into too much more development. I think it's a great idea, but it's. It's it's always really important to understand how you can sell these things before you go into doing much more technology. But I'm very impressed. Excellent work. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, well done, Ronak. Yeah, very impressive with the presentation and the kind of effort that you put to plot the graphs and all. Do you think the shape of the container has that, uh, anything to do with your graph? No, sir. The the shape of the container will not matter because what I tested it was the sides were straight. If the sides are curved towards the milk, it will just uh, lower. It will just increase the response time because milk will take higher time to come up. So, like the most of the difference will be in a uh, response time, and the same goes with the quantity and size of the, like the bigger and smaller the vessel. If we use small milk in a large container, again the response time will be higher, and if we milk, uh, use a large quantity of milk in a large container, again the response time will be the same. So like there will be no, that's not such a huge difference. Very good, well done, and you have you have thought over that. That is excellent. Uh, one last question: uh, When I was a kid like you, or maybe a bit older, I did uh, see some system uh, where I put the milk and uh, with the help of the steam, it can make a whistle kind of thing without electronics. So how do you think your product can compete with those kind of product where you have no electronics? Uh, just a kettle uh, with the steam principle making sound for you to kind of thing. Just yeah, did see that. I'm aware about milk boilers in that you put water and then it makes a whistle. But the problem with that is first that they are very difficult to use. Like you have to fill water every time and you have to clean them and you have to worry about fungus and everything. And but the this product can be used with any utensil. And suppose you bought a vessel of one lit of one liter milk boiler. And guests come, and you want to boil milk for like a huge amount of milk. Then you cannot use that. You will, it will really slow down your process. And this can be used with any type of utensil. And another thing is that it is a really portable device. Like it is a small device, and milk boilers are really huge. So if you okay. want to carry it to some place, or suppose you are going to a native place, like you cannot carry your milk boiler with you. But this is a small device, and so you can carry it. Excellent. And is, can uh, can it also be used to make Indian tea? Yes, sir. It, uh, it is another thing on my future roadmap. Like it can be like with some additional testing, we can use it with many other things like tea and boiling eggs and many other things. But all it will require require is some additional testing, and that's it. Okay. Very good. good. Now, very nice explanation. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Many, many congratulations to Ronak for his invention. On behalf of the entire team of Witblocks and TechFest, we wish him the very best of luck for the future.